In my previous episode, I ran an experiment to see if I could maximize the Wi-Fi speed of my laptop by getting it to automatically switch to the Wi-Fi networks that it had a stronger Wi-Fi signal with. I did this by changing the roaming aggressiveness settings of the Wi-Fi adapter of my laptop. That experiment went, mm, well, not so well, but the good news is I found another way to maximize the Wi-Fi speed of your laptop in your home network. The way to do that is to prioritize the Wi-Fi networks that your laptop connects to. At this point in their home networks, most people, myself included, have at least two Wi-Fi bands they can connect to. I have a Wi-Fi 5 router, so I have a 2G and a 5G Wi-Fi network I can connect to. If I had a Wi-Fi 6 router, as some of you do, you may have an additional third 6G Wi-Fi band to connect to. So assuming your laptop gets a decent Wi-Fi signal on all of these different bands, it's logical to then assume that your laptop should be prioritizing the band that provides it with faster Wi-Fi speeds. So in my case, that's my 5G Wi-Fi band, or for others, it will be a 6G Wi-Fi band with a Wi-Fi 6 router. Usually what happens in your home network is that for these different bands that are available, when you connect to them, you select connect automatically. So then when you reboot or you restart your laptop, your laptop will automatically connect to the Wi-Fi band that it has assigned the highest priority. So what do you do if you should be connecting to a 5G Wi-Fi network, but every time you reboot your laptop, it connects to the 2G Wi-Fi network? Well, here we go. What we can do is we can dive into your laptop settings and you can adjust the priority of these Wi-Fi networks. So let's take a look at my case here. My laptop has automatically connected to the 2G Wi-Fi network in my home, but when I look at the available Wi-Fi networks, give it a minute here, what you'll see is that the 2G and 5G Wi-Fi networks have similar Wi-Fi signals. As a result, I'll be getting faster Wi-Fi speeds if I'm automatically connecting to that 5G network. So how do I go about changing the priority of these Wi-Fi networks? The first thing we have to do is we have to open up a command prompt. So you go down here, type CMD, you right click, and then you select run as administrator. Now with our command prompt open, what we want to use is the net shell or net sh command. So the first thing we wanna do, let's get a list of the different Wi-Fi network priorities that your laptop has assigned. To do that, we type in net sh, WLAN show profiles and hit enter. So scrolling up, this is a long priority list, but as you can see at the top, the number one priority that my laptop tries to connect to every time it reboots is this 2G Wi-Fi network. What we want to do is we want to get this 5G Wi-Fi network in the number one priority spot, and there's a specific command we need to enter for that. I'll flash this command on the screen so you can enter it correctly, but what we want to put in is netsh, WLAN set profile order name equals and then in parentheses put the name of the Wi-Fi network you want to change the priority of. So for me it's network from home 5G. Interface equals Wi-Fi. We're changing the Wi-Fi priority here. And then priority equals one. We want this 5G network to be the number one priority. So you set this number to one. Let's hit enter. Priority order of profile network from home 5G is updated successfully. Now let's go back and look at the full priority list again. NetSH WLAN show profiles and what you'll find at the top, the 5G network is at the top. So now the next time that I reboot my system, power down or power back on my laptop, it will try to connect to that 5G Wi-Fi network first. One thing I'm sure you noticed is I have a really long Wi-Fi network priority list. The reason for this is because every time I connect to a Wi-Fi network, I usually select the connect automatically option if I'm going to be connecting to that Wi-Fi network more than once. It's really good practice to periodically go in here and remove any Wi-Fi networks that you either don't recognize or know you won't be connecting to anytime soon. For example, on this list, we can just grab a few random ones. H Honors, Hilton Honors, Marriott Bonvoy. These are all hotels that I've been to. I need to get these Wi-Fi networks out of this priority list because although it's not a huge security risk, it would be very easy for someone to make a standard rogue access point with this Wi-Fi name and then my computer will automatically connect to it 
just because it's in the priority list. So what we wanna do, you wanna scrub this, make sure there's any Wi-Fi networks you don't recognize, just get them off the list. The way to do this, it's pretty easy. It's another net sh command, net sh wlan delete profile name equals, and then in parentheses, put the name of the Wi-Fi network. So H honors, profile H honors is deleted from interface Wi-Fi. Excellent. The next thing we wanna do, let's go and delete Hilton honors. That's killed off as well. Now let's go back to the priority list. As you can see, my priorities are getting a little bit shorter here. That Hilton Honors and H Honors Wi-Fi network, both of those are gone. I obviously have some more work to do, but I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch me delete all these Wi-Fi networks that I don't recognize. If you don't have time to clean up all your Wi-Fi priorities, there's actually a shortcut for getting a Wi-Fi network to number one on the priority list. What I can do here, I'll show you for example, I'm connected to the 2G Wi-Fi network in my home. If I want to jump the 5G network to the top of the list, what I can do, if I go and I forget the network, and now I go in and connect to it again, click on it, connect automatically, connect, put in the password, and now because I selected connect automatically, that moves it to the top of the priority list. So now when I restart my computer, it will try to connect to this 5G Wi-Fi network again. If I wanted to go and make the 2G network my number one priority, I would just go in, I would forget the 2G network, and then I would reconnect to it, enter the password again, and select connect automatically. And then it will jump to number one on the priority list. In short, the number one priority on your Wi-Fi network list will be the last one that you select connect automatically and connect to. Obviously, you can go in and manually make those changes as we did with the NetSH command. This is just a quick and easy way if you want to make a quick update to your priority list. Although this is a shortcut for updating your priority list, I'm not advocating that you take shortcuts here. I'm not your mother, but you should periodically go in, just like cleaning your room, you should go in and clean your Wi-Fi network priority list to make sure you get any Wi-Fi networks you don't connect to or don't recognize off of there it's gonna be worth it just from a management perspective and from a security perspective as well. At this point, your laptop should at least be automatically connecting to the fastest Wi-Fi network in your home network. You'll be back to surfing the information superhighway at top speed. And the one ask that I have is if this was useful or helpful information for you, please give the video a like. That way other people will get access to this video and they'll be able to benefit from it as well. As always, thanks for watching this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.